Now, there is a celebrity sitting in our audience. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to do the introduction. As I was saying, there's a celebrity in our audience here that's getting the full superstar treatment. He goes in the side entrances, the hotels, hideouts from the teenage girls because they smother him with kisses. He is Michael Jackson's favorite companion, and uh, he is bound to be the object of a lot of affection. Did you bring the letter from your boss? Here you go. Let me hand it over. Let me see. It comes on MJJ production stationery with a moonwalker at the top. Says, "Dear Dick, I'm giving Bubbles the night off from his busy schedule so he can come and play on your show." There it is, and it, believe it or not, is signed Michael Jackson. All right, now. I met you about two years ago, Bubbles, and you've had a lot of publicity in the meantime. You're still the same sweet old chimp that you always were. Same guy, same person. Don't do that. You didn't mean that, did you? I know you're very loyal to Michael, but do you, do you ever listen to anybody else's music? I mean, do you like heavy metal music? Can you do an impression of uh, anybody else? How about Mick Jagger? What does Mick Jagger look like? <laughs> no. That's Mick Jagger. There you go. <laughs> Now, you know this stuff doesn't happen by accident. The man over my shoulder is the trainer, Mr. Bob Dunn. Bob, Hi. welcome, and thank you for bringing Bubbles Hi. along. Hi, Bubbles. How, are you? How old is this little guy? Uh, he's four and a half years old. What does he weigh? He weighs about 43 pounds. Now, we read all the time that he has his own clothes, his own bedroom. Well, he spends a lot of time with Michael. Does he live there all the time? No, half the time he lives with me when Michael's out of town. Is <laughs> he answering me? <laughs> Nobody divides his time? Yeah, usually he's in training a lot, so he lives with me when he's in training. Now, he's all decked out in his overalls tonight. Now, is that his normal wardrobe? He has a wardrobe just like any other kid, but he's outgrowing them quick. <laughs> I saw him in a tuxedo. Has he got all kinds of clothes? No, we rent the tux. Is he going to read my palm? Or... What's he, what he doing? Have I got fleas? <laughs> what is he doing? He's grooming. He's picking my watch off my... <laughs> Is he, no, he's seriously, he's looking to see if there's anything there. <laughs> he's found a little piece of hair on the back of those fingers. You've got hair on your fingers, too. See? It's the same. He's traveled all over the world. Do you have any difficulty getting him in and out of countries? Uh, we have to pull a lot of permits, but we do it. He loves traveling. What are his favorite pastimes? What does he do? What is he's like, does he like what people like? Sure. He loves to play pillow fights, tickle, can chase. He, can he moonwalk? He does his version of moonwalk. I want to see this. Okay. If Michael Jackson's Sorry. friend can moonwalk, I'll know where Michael learned all of that stuff. Oh. Let me see you do your stuff, Bubbles. Moonwalk. <laughs> all right. You're a good old guy. Thank you, Bob, very much. Thank you, Thank you Bubbles. Nice to have you with us.